so you asked about a set next statement feature. Uh, effectively, if we set a breakpoint on alert one, uh, is there a way to bypass alert two so that we can go right to alert three? Um, and now, while I don't know of any uh, sort of feature in the Chrome DevTools for this, I'll show you what you can do. <coughs> Uh, over here in JS I have a simple little page. Uh, we include a third-party script. Oh, it's just, it needs to be an external script file. Um, it has our alerts. And then we have a button which on click um, runs that function. So uh, click it, test alerts one, two, and three. <coughs> now, if we want to check this out, let's see, I'm going to refresh. I'm running a canary build of Chrome, so it's, it might be a touch buggy, but on the whole, it's good. All right, so we have our alerts, and um, if I set a breakpoint here, click it, we'll break there. Now, there is one feature called continue to here, um, but that will continue execution up to that point and essentially breaking um, like a, a breakpoint. But we're not very interested in that feature. Um, so what we want to do is we want to skip some uh, bits of execution. Now in the Chrome DevTools, there is a feature called Live Edit. And this is um, specific to Chrome. I don't think any other uh, browsers currently even have this. Uh, but it's really powerful, and it has a lot to do with a special relationship that the Chrome DevTools have with V8, the JavaScript engine. So <clears throat> I can, I'm at this breakpoint, but I can click in, and you see I have now a uh, a carrot cursor um, blinking at me. And I'm just going to comment this bit out. <clears throat> I hit Command S to save the file. And uh, it kind of walks us back just a little bit. I let's say, let's go ahead. I'm back here. <clears throat> and I hit play. One, three. Cool. So uh, here we're able to, um, we're broken. We can do our live manipulations on the page. So uh, alternatively, I'm going to run this again. And I'm going to uh, change my comments, just do a different kind of comment. And I'll also add a, a different kind of alert. Hey, I'm brand new. I think I should probably escape this successfully. <clears throat> nice. Can Command S to save. once hey, and brand new and three so this we effectively get um, uh, debug time uh, manipulability um, where we can dynamically change our script um, but do it while we're still in our, deb in our debug loop so hopefully this uh, gives you enough flexibility that you need to get this sort of behavior <clears throat>